Hello everyone, Jillian Venditti here alongside Alex Fasano. We're at White Plains where the Westchester Knicks unfortunately dropped the ball in their game against the Fort Wayne Mad Ants. Alex, you know, Tuesday night, the Knicks looked amazing, really went on a run, and were an explosive team. But tonight, that team was not reflected in their play. What was the difference? Well, obviously, on Tuesday, we saw a dominant Knicks team, 27-point victory against their division rival, Maine Red Claws. Tonight, we didn't see the elite players of Marshall Plumley and Maurice Endor recently called back up to the New York Knicks. Tonight, we saw big plays from little names on the bench, Von Wafer obviously giving 16 points of his own. But we really didn't see a lot of the big man play style today in the game. They allowed 40 points at the foul line, too many fouls from the Knicks tonight, and it was just not their night. We made more baskets, we shot better percentages, we, you know, made more threes, they, they made 40 free throws. I mean, that is hard, you know, when you get into a number like that, you have to be flawless in the other areas. And uh, so, whatever that is, we'll go back and look at how we found ourselves in those positions and because that's an extraordinary number. So Alex, who would you say was the key player for the Knicks tonight? Key player was definitely Keith Wright. 23 points, 11 rebounds. He's usually on the bench uh, during these games, but tonight, again, with the absence of Marshall Plumley and Maurice Endor, Keith Wright stepped up as the big man. Big plays on defense, hitting a couple threes as well. Keith Wright, definitely got to see more of him in the upcoming games. We also have to look at Von Wafer. Really explosive star for him coming off the bench, being the sixth man. How has he contributed to this team in general? Well, Von Wafer, again, 16 points off the bench. One of the biggest stories in recent D-League news is Chase and Randall being called up to the Philadelphia 76ers with a 10-day contract. So the Westchester Knicks are trying to fill this gap of the missing Chase and Randall, and Von Wafer coming off the bench with his points definitely did a good job tonight. Unfortunately, the Knicks did come up short, but still, Von Wafer showing he can make big plays and be a big impact. We really like the boost that he gives us off the bench. He's done it a lot of times. You know, we were we were behind early. And he came in and like you said, just I don't know how many he hit in a row, but he had it going and then it got everybody else going. And um, you know, we were able to to you know get get going pretty good there for, for a while. Saturday, the Knicks face off against the Delaware 87ers. But what did they have to do in order to progress and overcome tonight's loss? Well, obviously, the Delaware 80 Senators have been a big thorn in the Westchester Knicks side this season. The last two games, the Knicks came up short. Last one was at home. Very upsetting loss. On Saturday, the Knicks will have to play hard on defense as coach has been reiterating time and time again. They got to watch the fouling trouble too. Again, tonight they saw 40 points from the foul line for Fort Wayne. So they got to be very, very consistent on defense. Don't get in too much foul trouble and play hard on offense. Well, you heard from Alex Fasano. I'm Julian Venditti and we'll see you next time.